So today I'm going to show you around Wicklow, which is a county in Ireland. It's just south of Dublin, which is the capital. And Wicklow is actually known locally as the Garden of Ireland. Um, one little look behind me and you can see why this place is so green, it's so lush. And today in typical Ireland style, yes, it's raining. <laughs> It's what it does here in Ireland. But on the other hand, we get a lot of rain, but look at the fruits of the rain. I mean. How could you not love it? It's so green and even because it's raining, you can smell everything more, more strongly. Like I can smell the, the pine trees and you can, smell the wet grass and there's just nature everywhere and oh, I'm Irish and I'm so proud to be Irish but when I come to places like Wicklow or anywhere outside of Dublin I just fall in love with my country over and over again. <laughs> Enough of the mush, let's go. My day started off in Powers Court in Enniskerry where I took a roam around the beautiful Powers Court estate and garden. It's open all year round for tourists. You can either buy tickets online or buy them there directly from the estate. I booked my whole day tour of Wicklow through privatetour.com and spent the whole day wandering around with my guide, Robert. So this is my guide for the day, Robert. He's the best guide ever. If you want to go on Remember a really that word, ever. Ever. If you want to go on a really good guy, a really good tour around Wicklow, the Garden of Ireland, this is your man. The boy. Details will be under the video. My guide spent all day educating me on the history and geography of the region. So this particular time in 1916, around uh, uh, March, um, they were having their meeting and at the same time the Irish rebels were having a meeting upstairs in one of the bedrooms. So it's supposed to have happened was that the girls that were serving the tea to the British colonels downstairs was going upstairs and relating the story back to the Irish rebels. And that's how they knew that at that particular time of Easter in 1916 the least amount of British soldiers would be in Ireland and that's why the date was picked for the Easter Rising. Yeah. Robert has challenged me that I can't make it up these steps Rocky style. Ready? <laughs> She's struggling. Okay, we're still going. We got this. We got this. Ready? <laughs> Powers Court Japanese gardens are kept in pristine condition and attract thousands of visitors annually. Next up we climb the peak known locally as the Scalp. Okay, not so easy to climb, but hey, you've all seen my rocky stair climbing skills, so personally I could do it again in a heartbeat. <laughs> and of course out here we have Dawkey, where all our famous Irish people live, the likes of Enya and bon uh, Bono and all them crowd, and right round onto Port Head. After that we went on to what is possibly the highlight of the day, Loch Tay. I made it to the top, we climbed all the way up, we're in Sally Gap now in the Wicklow Mountains and right behind me is the Guinness Lake, it's, we call it the Guinness Lake because all of the land is owned by the Guinness family but if you actually look at the lake it kind of looks a bit like a pint of Guinness because it's black from the dye from all the plants around, around where the water flows into and there's some white sand on the top. 
have a look. So all, all up around here in the Dublin mountains is where the TV series The Vikings is actually filmed and we just drove past and there's a lot of their trailers and um, their, their big trucks and everything down there so that means that today they are actually out filming but you wouldn't know where they'd be, they could be anywhere in the forest if we drive around and we do happen to find them. Don't worry, I'll get you a few sneaky from us. But hey, just enjoy the view. I even had time to stroll around the 6th century monastic settlement at Glendalough. Then to feed the ducks with some leftover sandwich bread before I get that all important ice cream I've been promised all day as a dangling carrot in front of a donkey in order to get my ass up the top of that mountain. So myself and my hook aid here Robert, we've walked the feet off ourselves around Wicklow. We've been to, where have we been? Well, we started at Powers Court, and then we went for a walk up the Skelp, and we came back and went to Poppy's for lunch, and then we took a little trip up to Sally Gap. So we went and we visited, where? The Guinness Lake. The Guinness Lake. And we went down and we had a moment on the PS I Love You Bridge, and then we came to Glen the Lock. We went looking for Vikings too, but we didn't find any of them. We found a real one. Rah! So it ended up, we're down here in Glendalough, we walked all the way through the cemetery, back up to the upper lake, having a little bit of an ice cream and a moment and taking in the day. And, and Ra I'm... Robert brought me a 99, so I'm going to enjoy it. Right, you're lucky. Cheers. Cheers bud, thanks for a good day. <laughs>